Now that I am here, let us go retrieve the cranky assassin. Cranky, huh? Oh. I assumed you would get me first, as I am your favorite and most loyal friend, who has never done you any harm and has harmed all of your enemies. Repeatedly, I will list them in order of harm. Uh, you really don't have From to. From along the pincher, the alien who kicked you in the shin, Servo 66, the robot who electrocuted your groin area, Thun, a.k.a. Kulinian Hoon, a.k.a. George, who ran you over with his hover chair. You'll always be first in my heart. Your actions prove otherwise. And I could never fit in your heart. Oh, I missed this. Welcome home, everyone. I am Groot. Groot says it's so good to see you all. Look at you, Peter. Somehow, you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. Hey, <laughs> good times. We kind of made a mess out there. Now we gotta clean it up. We? Okay, some of us made it more than others. I wish I had better news for you, but, uh... Things have turned into a bad monster movie out there. Yes. Hala and the Eternity Forge have merged into a singular being. But where the relic granted life, Hala absorbs life. We accidentally created a supervillain. Go team. Yes, we created a worthy adversary. I am impressed with us. She has to be stopped before she strikes again. Hala contacted me. She said this won't end until we're dead or she is. There's only one thing we can do. I'll get the cyanide pills. I am Groot. Fine, fine, I'll just get mine. The Rodan is right. Our chances of victory have not improved since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on her ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and... See if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's gotta be a weak spot or two we can exploit. If Hollow Ship has a weakness, I know you'll be able to find it. Flattery will get you everywhere, Pete. I'll do my best. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. <clears throat> I am Groot. Thanks, Groon. Quill, I was waiting for you. I... I wish to apologize. For what? I realize I have not been the same since we slew Thanos. I was so consumed in my emotions that I uselessly sacrificed myself. My selfish act put the Guardians at risk. For that I am deeply sorry. And I hope you can accept my sincere apology. Apology accepted, Drax. Don't worry about it. Good. Now let us repress these feelings and never speak of them again. I will try to redeem myself once again in the coming battle against Hala. So, that giant space worm. How'd you kill it? It is a heroic tale that people will talk about for generations. I launched myself into the jaws of the worm creature, narrowly avoiding endless rows of teeth. I used my blades to slow my descent, shredding the creature's pulsating throat. Once within its noxious bowels, I detonated the drive cores of six dead ships. The explosion resulting from digestive fumes and flammable fecal matter was the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. How the hell did you get out of there? Peter, some may not know this, but when a creature is in its death throes, 
The sphincter relaxes. I was forced to swim through bile. Gland juices seeped into my nose and mouth until I emerged. Moist. Reeking. Victorious. <sighs> I look forward to repeating this tale many, many times for the others. You ready for one last battle? I do not believe this will be our last battle. But for Hala, it will be. I'm sorry we left you for dead. I do not blame you for your ineptitude. I also thought I was bound to die. It was a reasonable misunderstanding. Later, Drax. What happens later? How's it going, Bowie? 